All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to uh, a ground. Oh, yeah, missed. Well, I can always go fish for some fish. We got hamburgers, we got wood, I've got pie. I'll just rely on pie for a little while and let's see. Oh, we need titanium to fix the power plant. Let's just hope titanium is easy to get my hands on. Hopefully we eventually get to just, like, control the town and actually use it for resources as well. Uh, I probably shouldn't go out of my way for the coal here. No, that's sulfur. Still no titanium. That's a chest, though, with titanium! Well then! Certainly makes my life easier. I'm just gonna kind of take an awkward beeline back up. I wonder if we are gonna have to deal with the worms around here. Or if, uh, if they're relatively benign. Where is she? She has just disappeared. Alright, well, this is a warehouse I can, I can use, yeah? So let's, let's, uh, let's just dump everything off except for the titanium, just in case. And where did she go? Oh, this guy's here. I don't remember his voice, so well. Hey, my cat Perry ran away from me again. Do you think you could help me find her? I think she's trying to avoid sailing. Not a fan of wa of the water. Help me out, I'll teach you what I know of fishing. Sure. Awesome. Thanks. Here's a spare fishing rod. Talk to me if you want fishing tips. Toothfish are per Perry's favorite food. Maybe you can tempt her with some of those. Well, we got a toothfish like almost immediately last time, so we might as well get that done. Alright. Fish. Nope, that's that's my my doggo. Where'd she go? Where'd the cat go? I have no idea. Well here's one of them. Wow, I didn't expect you to really come back with titanium. Thanks, now I can get this fixed up in no time. Back in business, we can use coal or refined oil to power the plant. We can also make a battery here. Oh, and take this scrap metal from the repairs. Thanks for the titanium. Okay, still no cat. We'll work on that in a second. For starters, I'm afraid we can't let you stay here until the power comes back on. I just fixed it, you... Oh, operate power plant. Add fuel. Okay, so power's back on. And we are still getting resources from our other town. Good. Wonderful the power's back. No thanks to those damn mirrors. I can't believe we also pay them dues to keep the technology running around here. Not only do they fry the power plant, they can't be bothered to come around and fix it. Can't you stop just stop paying them? I can't leave the inn, but if someone would go to the desert and confront them about it, maybe we could come back out of this unfair arrangement. Alright, so negotiate for the mirrors for him. And can I can I sleep here now? Would you like to spend the night? Only 50 gold coins, and only include a hot meal. Well, this sucks. And I don't think I can get free resources out of my... out of this warehouse here. Yeah, they're not connected. So... I don't know where his cat is. But I think I'm just gonna go fishing for a little while. I mean... The other alternative is me digging really hard in, into my, uh... into my pie supply. Which I could do. We could also try and sell some fish. Oh. Oh, there's... It's not always the A button. That's interesting. Okay. But... This is... I don't like fishing minigames. Especially with the bad resolution. 
Uh, are, am I supposed? Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to hold the button. Yeah, the resolution is so bad that it's actually kind of hard to tell exactly uh, what I'm supposed to do immediately. All that for toothfish. Which I will eat and then proceed to try and fish another toothfish. This might not be worth it. This ain't worth it, we'll just cut into my pie supply. I mean, I could always just go back home and come back loaded with pie. Not a preferable system. Now, okay, the game still saves when I do that, so that that's a good sign. But yeah, next next time, next time, uh, I'm absolutely just beelining straight for uh, or no, I'm I'm hoarding resources before I go to new lands. I was kind of hoping it would be a little easier to keep up with it all. Cat is too fast for you to grab. Oh, I don't have any more toothfish either. I'll deal with the cat later. Um... What? Because I can't... I don't think I can mine that out. So how do we go into the desert? Because what are, what are my quests? Go see the mirrors, but it looks like I have to have a better pickaxe. Unless, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go back to title for a second. We don't have any, uh... We haven't made any progress since I went to the, uh, in any way. I might actually be able to do something in the power plant. No, I can make batteries. I can recharge batteries. Maybe there's a better pickaxe that I can make? Like, I'm a little lost here. Okay, so he wants me to defeat bandits. Okay, so bullets, shells, shields, revolvers, steel pick, but that's what I've got, yeah? I hope so. Yeah, I've still got my steel pick, and it's not broken yet. And he sells some of these things. Toothfish sell for... 25 apiece. And the cat is too fast for me to grab. I mean, I guess we got these berry bushes. I can always just grab them. What's up? These aren't the bandits, are they? No. Most definitely not. These are just random, weird-looking townsfolk. It's our lucky day. Our prey came walking right up to us. Things are going great since we ran away from those mirrors and their nasty experiments. I'm... I kind of hate this game. I got stunlocked by the guy. I let's try that again. I maybe maybe I was just doing something wrong. I don't I don't know. I was I was mashing that X button and it was not interested in cooperating. Okay, well it's this guy this guy in first. Okay. Nope. Okay, so we got him that time. I, I don't know what the difference was. I mean, the other thing I can do is very easily just let my wolf destroy things for me. Which actually is not a terrible idea. I guess what I can do... I do have the red berries. Stack plus one for 15 seconds. Not a great feeling.
If you notice, I can't hit him at all. I... I don't know. I don't... Let's, uh, let's put a point into bargaining, at the very least. I, I try very hard not to be, like, too grumple about, uh, things, but sometimes it's just like... So, why is this the way that it is? Oh, not even dead yet. Well, we get a diamond. Well, I... I... Sorry. Just stuff like that sours the experience a little bit. It's like, hey, this game has action combat. Barely. And the action combat is mostly walk up and button mash and probably get wrecked anyway. You actually beat the bandits. Please take this gift as a token of our appreciation. I guess what I'm supposed to do is, um... I'm not actually sure. I don't know how to get over to the Miros, because as far as I can tell, there's nothing there. Well, let's go save? Because... I don't want the hot meal, I just want to save here. How do we actually get to the Miros? I... Well, we just saved. I guess I'm just gonna go look again. Because, yeah, it's nego uh, find Perry, yeah. If that's required for progress, I'm going to be kind of surprised. At least the berries are plentiful. That's kind of helpful. Eventually, we might be able to make pie, or I'll just eat the berries instead. At least in the meantime. Okay. So I'm making no progress on that, and I can't climb. Maybe I should have actually put some of my... I, maybe I should have actually put my levels up, level ups into uh, mining speed? Have I... can I do that? I have... I mean, I only have four skill points, so that's not enough. Now, I've already put two points into mining speed, and that's only mine tiles faster, so that shouldn't do it. I... I don't actually know how to get past that mountain. Closed for the night. What's up with this guy? Hey kid, would you like some rare goods? You can't buy these anywhere else. Okay, titanium, cockatiel, owl, shadow cape. Interesting. Jetpack lets you fly. Oh, and he's got blueprints for actual structures. But they're like tens of thousands of gold. Um, the problem is we're here on this island with nothing. We can't cook. We can't sleep to get our stamina back because it costs 50 gold at the inn. Unless, maybe it only costs 50 gold once? I could always go back, but that seems like a massive waste of, waste of time. And I don't really get fishing. Like, I should probably go... Nope. I should probably grab that toothfish. Because I have no idea if it's a uh, press the button or hold the button when it comes to the stick. Well, either way, we got the toothfish, so let's see if I can go find that cat. If we're lucky, it's... I just have to go interact with the cat. If we're not lucky, I don't know. But yeah, it doesn't seem like fishing's worth the energy... Uh, the energy cost. 50 gold coins. It, I, it seems like I should be making, t like, loads of money somewhere. I was not holding up. Thank you. Um, I don't know. I I don't entirely know what I'm supposed to do. I guess we can just... Cause these berries are nigh constant, which is kind of nice. So I probably won't, won't run out of stamina. I mean, we could try digging down like I was originally doing. But my bet is I'm not going to be able to bypass this. 
random wall? Well, I mean, I'm at a utter loss of what to do, so we might as well do it, see what's down here. If we're lucky, there's there's an easy bypass, and if we're not lucky, this happens. So we need a better pickaxe, but like I'm using the best one available. I I thought it's a steel pick, mine too. That's that's what was available in the shop, and yet it's not good enough for this. And we didn't learn how to make a better pickaxe while we were out and about. I'm legitimately, like, stumped? Because, I mean, I could I could go back and farm a, a stupid amount of money to buy the jetpack from the guy. But there's no, there's no tunnel on the mountain, and there's no uh, obvious way to get across. I'm assuming that's where we have to go, because... Desert. Uh... I'm, um, I'm actually kind of confused. We'll just live off of berries for a little bit. Uh, I, I don't know. Okay, well, let's, let's drop off the coal, the quartz, the sulfur, the steel bar, the gold ore, gold bar, diamond, kite shield. Because, yeah, it shouldn't be any of these. I mean, I, I guess at this point I'm going to try and rest at the inn. Who knows, maybe it's 50 gold coins. Uh, period. Maybe I had to do this anyway. I hear, hear the main ship crashed around here somewhere. How did you survive without life pots? That's exactly our problem. The Miro saved us. They did some unbelievable last-minute enhancements and protected an entire sector from obliteration. So in their debt. But now they destroyed our power and they're not let they're letting strange creatures loose to wreak havoc. I even heard that some folk have gone missing in the desert where the Miro's were last seen. They expect us to put up with all this, even pay dues to them. It's become too much. Okay, so I have my stamina back. Nope. So it's per night. Oh, that's okay. How do we get to the desert? Uh, oh boy, this thing burns fuel. Okay, so I got a battery now. We're gonna need some fuel. So apparently, I, I've been looking this up. We have to figure out how to build a factory somehow. So that we can get a drill, so that we can drill through the mountain. How we do this? No idea. We can sleep at the inn three more days. After that, we're going to have to take the boat back to uh, our own island and stock up for a while, because I... I don't like stamina systems, and I think this is currently, uh... I, I'm probably wildly... Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. There are more survivors here than I expected. Yeah, but it's not enough. We're here to... If we're to survive as a species, we'll need to join up with the other colonies. Do you think they made it? I'm sure they're out there. We just need a way to find and reach them. And if we're attacked on the way? Then at least we tried. I'm not gonna sit here climbed up on this planet just because it feels safe for the moment. Okay. There we go. Now that we finally have power again, I wish we had some new machinery to play with. If you help me get a factory set up, we can manufacture all sorts of things. Okay, coal, sul sulfur, and quartz. Okay, so here, here's our answer. Apparently, uh, what I was supposed to do is mysteriously find out that, um... Uh... Or randomly find out that you have to talk to her again, which she doesn't have an exclamation mark to get some dialogue to learn that you have to get the factory. Not, like... The hardest to figure out, but... Eh. It just was not immediately clear. Because usually you talk to those characters uh, with that, like, kind of... You know, speak to them face-to-face -face dialogue. Uh, a lot of titanium just rolling around. Uh, you'd have to do that 
in um, in the hut, and you'd speak with them. But yeah, I, I'm a little bit buggered that you can't rest in the boat or something. Like, I feel like you should be able to sleep somewhere else instead. Well, we should probably stop eating these berries. They're not they're not as worth the pie. Get the energy. Okay. So all we need is two more quartz. And unfortunately, that's kind of deep down, so we're just going to have to book it. But yeah, I... Uh, I... I hate... Um, on one hand, I hate games that hold your hand. On the other hand, like I feel like this is one of those situations where a little bit of hand-holding would have made all the difference. Uh, but whatever. I mean, we got it now, I just had to look it up on the internet. I... I, mm, I guess it's just mildly frustrating, the double whammy of fighting the bandits and realizing the combat system. I think, in general, you're supposed to use ranged weapons instead, uh, which is fair. But, uh... The double whammy of the combat, and then the being kind of lost and unable to... Like, I can rest at the inn, but I don't want to unless I know that I'm not going to bankrupt myself doing so. Because, yeah, I didn't bring a whole lot of money with me, because I didn't realize, oh, yeah, they won't just let you sleep here. Or, like, you can't put a hut up. I, I wish most of these islands you had to make from scratch or something. Maybe. She snatched the toothfish from my hand, but she's too fast. I can't catch her. That's annoying. This will be awesome. Finally, a new project to tinker with. Now we can refine materials and build drills, chainsaws, shotguns, and other cool stuff. There's no power. And of course, we're going to be slowly running out of power over the course of this as well. Sorry, it's it's Grumpbot time. The, uh, the, the seams are starting to show a little bit. I'm sure we'll be fine once we actually get this place up and running in like a, a proper town. Unless, of course, I constantly always have to pay money just to be able to operate around here. At which point, that's, that's silly. I'm hoping we could... Uh, ah, recruit these people or something. Okay. But yeah, I'm the one that has to fill up the power plant for these greedy suckers, and they won't even let me sleep at the inn for free. That's not okay, I feel like, uh... Fixing the, uh... What do I need for a drill? A drill is... Little common steel bars. Well, looks like I'm going back home anyway. And, like, I don't mind going back home, but I almost kind of wish I didn't have to deal with the boat ride. I don't know. Okay. Well, let's let's just go back home. Let's let's go stock up, because apparently this is a problem. Uh, I'm just going to eat pie. I'll make more. And back we go. This was dumb. I mean, not ter terrible, but... Okay, so the mechanic will add coal to the power plant, to the very least. So she might actually fill it back up again. I'm just- I'm just mad that I did- I can't sleep at the inn for free, that that actually costs money. Uh... Yeah, uh, that's... That's the, uh... That's the source of it all. Cause yeah, if I- if I didn't have to... If I didn't have to worry about, uh, you know, replenishing my stamina, yeah, I wouldn't mind. It's that initial bit you get over there and you're like, oh, there's an upfront fee whenever you want to rest here. No, it's not okay. It's like if, if, uh, halfway through Pokemon, you know, any of, uh, any of the Pokemon games, uh, Poke Centers just started charging money and, uh, you didn't have any. Okay. Well, either way, luckily we've been getting resources this entire time. Oh! They've been rebuilding technology! Yeah, Sunset Haven is power and industrial equipment. But the folks there aren't too happy with the Miros who set it all up. The Miros survived? You know them? 
Unfortunately, we are part of the same research group back home, studying genetics. After the attack, they started doing awful stuff like human experimentation. I can no longer work with them. Hey, we should rebuild some technology here too. If they can do it, why not us? Oh, maybe this is the alternative thing. Maybe we can actually uh, build this place up further. Okay, well, we want to harvest all. Yeah, I wish the farmer would routinely just come by and uh, and just hit the harvest all button. Because he harvests resources, but they're separate. They have nothing to do with the resources that I myself can grab. Okay, so we want to hold on to the silicon. Fertilizer. We're going to need three steel bars. But honestly... I'm just going to grab all of it. We should probably grab some more food. What do I need for pie? Pie! Do we have any other really good stamina food? I mean, there's bread. We can always just make bread. Candy apple, but that requires sugar. Whenever we get the ability to get sugar, that'll make life easier. There's also cake. And, like, pizza. Actually, pizza's not so bad. It's it's better. To some degree. Obviously, we're gonna need a lot more wheat if we want to do this. Well, let's fertilize, let's fertilize the wheat for now. It's cotton? Yeah, cotton's still fertilized. As well just... Toss that in. Wait. Because, yeah, I don't actually want to really do anything while we're over here. Just grab a bunch of stuff. Okay, unfortunately, I am overburdened again. Oh, let's see. So we want to drop off... Drop off the cheeseburgers and the omelets for now. And some of the iron bars. There we go. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's go back to the island. Uh, actually... No, we wanna... We wanna drop off, like, six of this. Ish. Uh, the reason why we wanna drop off six is... I... I'm betting we're gonna find more resources just floating on the... On the ocean. And we're actually gonna wanna use those. Okay. So, yeah, we've got a... We've got a game plan now. Oh! Well, that's interesting. This is not immediately obvious, but, uh... Move that over. Take my steel axe back. I'm gonna just leave one of the fishing rods here. One of the coin purses? I don't really know why we have it. Anyway, so the boat can actually carry extra resources. Oh, and I can now get a patrol boat. With a gun. Rightio then. Anyway, yeah, so this means we can actually uh, load ourselves up. Oh, this is the this is the workshop. Yeah, we can load ourselves up with uh, extra resources as necessary. Okay. Admittedly, that's just the toothfish, the pie. I'll leave the coal, we can get more. Probably none of the wood I can always get more easily. This was stupid. I should have thought of this. Well, whatever. We have a lot of pie. And we have some berries, at least for a while. Okay, so yeah, the boat the boat can carry all the cheeseburgers, iron, gold, diamonds, whatnot that I could ever need. Okay. That's that's better. So let's dismount. Let's go let's go save again. 
I'm just gonna let resources roll in over here. I, w I hope we actually get the ability to uh, to upgrade this island. Like, I wish you spent more time actually up upgrading the, the facilities, you know, better bed, uh, better farm equipment, more, more farmers even, uh, stalls and whatnot. Because it would be nice if I could actually say, like, you know, hey, farmer, actually collect those resources as opposed to just collecting, like, a little bit here and there. Or, if he can't do that, you know, maybe each farmer is worth, like, X amount of resources that they can pull in from your, your maximum daily output. And so if you have four farmers, that's 100% until your output, like, over outstre outstretches that. And, you know, you just can keep scaling up. I think that would be a, uh, a much more sane, sane way of doing things. At least less time wasty. I'm curious what happens if I uh, take the whirlpool. Probably bad things. The farmer does randomly just add like a, a butt ton of eggs, though. Hopefully, we can actually get a bunch of uh, just resource chains going across the uh, multiple islands. I don't actually know if I'm going to. Well, no, we do have coal in the factory, so that's probably a good sign. Okay, so let's drop off these. Okay, so we need the quartz, the silicon, the steel bars. Because I can move them over here. It'd also be kind of neat if you could actually uh, share the resources between uh, one island and the next. Like, actually have like a, somebody as a go-between. That'd be kind of appreciated. Okay, so let's dump these off. I've got plenty of pie. We'll probably go rest of the inn. Uh, I know it'll cost me some money, but hopefully... Hopefully we'll unlock the, uh... We'll make it free shortly. Otherwise, I mean, like, I could just start intentionally farming money. And, despite my frustrations, whatever, uh, we have actually made it- we've made some progress, even if the progress has not been in the right direction, necessarily. Eh. We're- we're building the base to actually make some progress. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Ground. I will try and be less grumpy about things, and I will also try and succeed at more things. But for now, see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.